champions, we got a brand new character to preview. It is Steve Austin or Stunning Steve Austin, which for those that are not familiar with Stunning Steve Austin, that was back when he was in the Hollywood Blonde in the WCW days, uh, basically before the Attitude Era. Uh, as such, you do see the poster here is... Uh, it has the attitude icon that's going to be changed. He is actually a new gen uh, He's a striker again. He's not mine. He was sent to me for preview purposes. I don't get to keep him His coachability at 18,000 is take 30% less damage from purple moves He has links with WCW and new gen and no gear Now the first move set we'll have a look at It's gonna be the stun gun 10 MP black move finisher deals 135.8k damage. Choose 8 gems to make into green gems and pin the opponent. That's a wrap. 7 MP green move submission place 8 sub gems and do 31.9k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength 3. And the eye poke. 5 MP green move deals 65.8k damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will increase your green gem damage by 100% for two turns on every countdown turn and increase your black MP by eight at the end of the countdown. So that's pretty strong juggernaut gems right there. Trainers will use for that. We're gonna try to boost that green gem damage. So we're gonna use steel so that we start with more green. We're gonna use booker, tech booker that is, so that green gems do 35% more damage. I believe it's uh, start, uh, uh, not start, uh, it's gold dust that also does the same thing, I think. Uh, I'm gonna use all of fame all, which makes it so that move that generate green gems will generate two more for the finisher right there, as well as green gems do 5% more damage. And I'm using also a uh, showboat lacy so that green gems do 20% more damage. Could use uh, veteran Cena for 15% green. Could use Ogun to generate one extra green. Uh, I mean, you, you, you got a few options there. Uh, could have used a boost for the submission, which eh, didn't feel like it. Could use a Memrock to boost the multiply by one. But I think this is pretty much the op optimal setup. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I do have a belt with all unleveled Fury Gem, which adds 40% gem damage, which will counter the 40% gem defense they have. We're going to go versus Ivar. That looks weird if he's lost him like that. <laughs> he did look like that, though. All right, so we're gonna land or <laughs> a diaper. We're gonna land or juggernaut gems. Now we're gonna put our submission. You want to put them on greens because it's gonna land a multiplier on greens, and we're gonna go after the greens later. Right. I'll get those just because it's going to start reloading everything. Right, they went up. That got me my black. And the greens are currently doing 50,000 for the normal and 152,000 for the others. That's a lot. We're going to put my juggernaut right away. Let's just make sure they're not in a spot they're gonna get destroyed there you go i do have the uh plate uh, the dx plate which is what generated those x gems right there oh shit i didn't see that this one was right in the way though oh well i i won't destroy that one it's gonna make those Bring those. 
Break those. And that's gonna break that. Let's see how much that does. 1.35 million. That's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's uh, let's see something else. I kind of need, I kind of like that, but let's see something else. All right, second move set for stunning Steve Austin. It's gonna be pretty similar to what we just saw, except we're replacing the submission by the stunning DDT. That's a nine MP black move. It deals 101.3K damage and make all green gems into multiply gems of strength five. Trainers for that are gonna be the exact same thing, except I did switch Showboat Lacey for Memrock. Uh, Memrock makes it so that the multiplies are gonna be six instead of five. And also gonna, all multiplies will do 5% more damage. So in this case, it should definitely up the value uh this is definitely less defensive than the submission and very much more offensive and you do want to have a lot of greens on the board so hopefully they're going to stick around all right let's try that we're going to go versus ivar again Okay. Gonna lay down those. I'm gonna get another batch of them for next turn. Uh, unfortunately, he destroyed the greens, so that's not good. Put another batch of those. Pretty lucky that we have a, an extra turn right here. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of greens. We're still gonna do it, I don't care. I could have waited an extra turn, but why? So now they're going to do 465,000 each. That's be nasty. Imagine if I waited an extra turn. I might try that again after and just be more patient. Whatever. This is going to break that one. And I can get more. I'll just put them anywhere. Three point eighty nine freaking million. Actually, three point nine million. Almost four million turn two. Holy crap! Or was it turn three? Well, technically, it was turn two, but. We did get the extra turn. Holy, that's, that's really strong. <laughs> wow. All right. Actually, I don't even need to try that again. That was an L of an ass whooping. All right, let's, <laughs> let's look at something else. All right, I don't think you can tell what we just did, but we're going to check another moveset. This moveset reminds me a lot of Trickster Snoop Dogg. Uh, it is the knee drop 6 MP purple move, deal 80,000 damage and make 4 snowfall gems into black gems. The running knee lift 6 MP purple move, deal 81.5k damage and choose a 4 by 1 area to make into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into black gems when broken by you. And the pile driver 8 MP black move deal 85.4 85.5k uh, damage and choose six gems to make into purple gems. Trainers will use for that. You could use Bray, but why? 
Let's use woods instead. So we start with bold purple ready. Uh, we're gonna use uh, uh, dude love so that black gems do 35% more damage. Move that generate blacks will create one extra black, which in this case, it doesn't really matter if we make a fifth one into black because we're only gonna make four anyway. Uh, you could use also, I think it's Volkov that also adds 35% black gem damage. Uh, we're gonna use uh, Boogeyman so that black gems do 15% more damage. And on top of that, I'm gonna use Zombie Edge so that black gems do 2200 more damage. It's all about black gem damage. The reason why I'm saying this reminds me a lot of uh, uh, Trickster uh, Snoop Dogg is because uh, it's basically the exact same moveset except it's with Snowfall gems instead of Pyro gems and it's black ones all right let's try that ivar again okay now we're gonna create here here now there's a lot of blacks to connect to so we're gonna go on the on the right four columns I'm gonna connect to those three right there. Convert them into black. Oops. Eight hundred and eighty-four thousand. Well, actually, that ended up nine hundred and something. That is really good. Although, I mean, the previous move set was so. OP that it makes like this looks like underwhelming even though it's pretty damn amazing for any other characters So we don't even need to use the, the black move that would give us or or purple We still will Just for extra damage using the move. I don't really care about them doing anything. I don't want to risk uh, collapse or like ending my turn. I'm gonna still take those three because it's pretty unlikely they're gonna turn into a cascade. Just an extra little damage here. Alright, now we're gonna use that. Uh, we got three right there we can connect plus this one, so we're gonna use those four. That way we get four extras. Got 910,000. He still kicks out of that. And again, we're not even gonna need that black move because that purple reloaded again. It's basically like the, you could use another move as the third one clearly because both time we were good for the purple, but it's basically a safety measure should no purple match because there's a really high chance that uh, there's actually more chance that you're not gonna get a purple match than you will it's basically just a backup to be sure you can do a million every turn basically we're gonna put it here this is gonna connect to that x1 although uh, yeah it won't do anything because x's that is gonna that are gonna be broken are already broken no oh, this one will And we got a purple match again. <laughs> Another million right there. And he did not kick out of that. I mean, that's an incredible moveset too. But I'm kind of partial to the second one right now. That second moveset was just so freaking OP. <laughs> All right, so that is it for Austin. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, he is I would definitely see, say that he's top tier for sure. Uh, 
uh, really damn powerful. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.